Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install MAMP. Uh, I can't remember what the acronym stands for. It's like MySQL, Apache, something else with an M, and PHP. And, uh, and the other M might be for like Macintosh or something, I don't know. Anyway, it works on both Mac and PC, Windows 8, uh, or 8.1, 7, and 10. In this case, I'm using Windows 10. I expect most of you are as well. If you're using Mac, it should work very similarly. I will try and get a video out on my Mac as soon as I can. Right now, all I have set up is my Windows 10 computer. Uh, my kids are using the other one. So again, I'll try and get that done uh, when I get a chance. But for now, go ahead and try to follow along, see if you can get it working. And if you do, and it's fairly similar, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let us know uh, whatever differences there were, or any bugs you ran into, or how the process went. So you're going to want to go to mamp.info, and then you can go to downloads up here in the top right corner. That will take you to forward slash en forward slash downloads. And if you're on Windows, of course, you'll do the Windows 7, 8.1, or 10 option here. If you're on Mac, do the one on the left. And let's go ahead and download it. It's going to pop up something about their DNS. You can just go ahead and click away from that. So once it's done downloading, I've already got it downloaded here. Uh, just go to your downloads folder and then double click on the exe. It'll ask to make changes to your device. You say yes. And here it is. So it says, welcome to Mant Mant Pro, setup wizard. Just go ahead and click next. I uncheck these options for Apple Bonjour and Mant Pro. We just want the basic version of Mant. That's all we need for running PHP My Admin. Sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself. The purpose of this tutorial, if you didn't get it already, is that we're using MAMP so we can get access to PHP My Admin. So we have a really simple, easy way to run a MySQL server on our local computer, be it Mac or Windows, in this case Windows, and run MySQL queries on a database, right? Create databases, create tables, run queries on those tables. And so many of you are students of Colt Steel's MySQL Bootcamp on Udemy. If you're not, check out the link in the description below if that kind of thing interests you. But this will help you with that course. You won't have to use Gorm IDE because you can run all the queries from your local computer. So that is what I'm hoping to accomplish in this video is showing you how to do everything in the course, but from your local computer, as opposed to having to rely on something like Gorm. Uh, Gorm is a great tool, but they are still an early company. And while they are growing, they do experience some like server issues from time to time. So occasionally there's downtime and there's bugs and instead of having to deal with that, you can just work on something more reliable like MAMP. All right, so continuing on here, go ahead and accept the agreement. Uh, everything else can be default. You can create a desktop icon if you want. I'm not going to. Uh, go ahead and let it install. This will probably take about a minute or so. And then when it's done, we'll circle back, open it up. I'll show you how to get to PHP My Admin. And then I'll show you how we can run a couple queries uh, and just kind of give you a rundown of how the layout works. Okay, so the setup is done. Uh, it's kind of weird in that when it's done installing, it doesn't tell you like, hey, it's been successfully installed. It just disappears. So if you want to test whether or not it's working, what I like to do is just go down here to the search bar, type in MAMP. There's the MAMP icon, so we can just click on it. And this is it. So what'll happen is it'll take a second, but it'll automatically start the server so you don't have to manually click on this power button here. And when you get a green dot next to Apache server and MySQL server, both of those, you know you're good to go. So there's a button right here. It says open web start page. If you click on it, it'll take you to localhost forward slash all caps MAMP. So this is the main like, hey, it's working correctly page. And it's got a bunch of information about the Apache server and about MySQL, uh, your root uh, host name, username, port, etc. That information is good, especially if you're using a MySQL shell to get access to this. But in this case, we're going to use PHP My Admin, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So at this point, all we've done is we've installed MAMP on our computer, we've started the program, and it started the servers automatically. So we go ahead and go to the Open Web Start page. It takes us here. There's a nice little link right here for PHP My Admin right underneath MySQL. So we'll click on this link and it's going to open up PHP My Admin for us. So this is the PHP My Admin dashboard. I'm kind of zoomed in here uh, just so that you can read some of the queries that I'm about to type in here in a second. But anyway, it puts all your databases on the left. You probably will only have like two or three of the default databases when you first start. I've got a couple from previous projects. 
It's really simple to create a database. You can just click on new and then type in a database name and then click on create and boom, you've got a new database. It'll ask you what table names you want. Uh, you can do that step or you can skip it, but we want to kind of stay true to form to the MySQL bootcamp, if that's where you're coming from anyway, and use queries. So while all this graphical user interface is really nice, it's convenient, you can do things like go into a database and then go to privileges and then, or sorry, not privileges, where is it? Operations. You can drop the database. So you can do a lot of crazy stuff. It shows you the structure of the database, all kinds of cool stuff. Those are not things that I'll be showing you how to use specifically. I just want you to be able to use the SQL shell. And so right now we're inside this dev jobs database. We'll go over to SQL and this is saying run SQL queries on the database dev jobs. But this query, if you go over to the bootcamp, this is basically going to drop a database if it exists. If it doesn't, it's going to create it and then it's going to use it. So it'll ultimately switch the database that we're in. So I'm just going to copy this just to show you that you can take any of the code from the course and instead of having to run it in the shell on something like Gorm, you can just spin up a map real quick using the program, navigate to the PHP my admin, go to the SQL tab here, and this is just like your shell. So you just paste in the SQL query and when you're ready you just go down here and click on go in the bottom right corner it runs everything and you can see up top here we have a new database called bookshop if I go inside a bookshop I think this worked um, it's not showing any tables so let's take a second here and make sure that it might have actually run it inside of yeah, it did. It put it, it put it inside of this dev jobs database. So I shouldn't have clicked on that first. It's totally fine that this is in here. But um, so there's that. Priv uh, where is it? More operations. You can delete the table. It's gonna be like, ah, do you want to do that? Yes, that's fine. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna close that. It did create the bookshop database, but the use command didn't work the way I wanted it to. So but I'm gonna click on bookshop, go to SQL, paste this in again, and go ahead and press go. And now you can see that bookshop has this books table, and inside of it, it's got all of these books from the insert into. And so now that you have this database here with the table inside of it, you can again go to the SQL tab and you can run any query you want. So they have a bunch of predefined queries that you can run, like if you want to select something or insert something or update or delete, uh, select all. You'll notice the syntax is just a little bit different from what Colt taught you, and that's totally fine. There's multiple ways to write stuff in MySQL. So you can use what they've got here, or you can change it a little bit to whatever you want. Um, so let's say you just want to select star uh, why is my caps lock not working? There we go. From books. And then you click on go. And it'll give you all of the rows in the books table. And you can see here's each one of the columns. And if you want, you can use the graphical user interface here to actually go in here and you can delete one or you can copy it. You can even click edit and you can go change the values here for each one of these columns. You could go to the structure of this database and you could actually change the, or the structure of the table anyway, and you could manually change anything in here. It's all graphical user interface stuff, but the main benefit in my opinion is having access to this SQL shell right here where you can go in and type, you know, run anything you want. So as you're working through the course and Colt teaches you some stuff and you want to test it, you come over here to SQL, make sure that you select the correct database and the correct, uh, you don't have to necessarily correct, select the correct table, but click on the correct database, go to the SQL tab, and then you enter in these commands that you're learning and click on go. And this little green check kind of indicates that it's working properly, but these are your results. So is it going to look exactly like it looks in the course? No, because Colt's using C9. 
uh, and then you've seen my videos for GORM, it's not gonna look entirely like that. It is a slightly different interface, but in terms of entering the SQL queries, it's exactly the same. You just go to the SQL tab, you enter in the query, you click on go, and there's even some nice uh, visual ways of editing things as well if you wanna get familiar with that. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but now you have the ability to run MySQL very easily simply by installing MAMP, letting the server start by running the program, clicking on open web start page, going to the PHP My Admin dashboard here. You can create a new database this way, and then once it's created, you can click it and then run the query inside of it. Mess around with it, have some fun with it, see if it's a useful tool for you. Hopefully it is, I think, especially for those of you that are taking the course, but anyone who's using MySQL, whether it's for WordPress or a PHP site, or really any site for that matter, uh, this is a great tool for local development, and I think you can find it really useful. I know I do, I've used it quite a bit. So. Uh, those of you that are using Mac, if you were able to follow along, awesome. If not, like I said, I'll try and make a video here in the near future that kind of mirrors this one, but specifically for Mac, I honestly think it's extremely similar. It might be exactly the same, just with the you know visual difference of being on a Macintosh as opposed to Windows 10. But give it a shot. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for your time, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.